Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. So today I am looking at Kind's Breath. It's by Cursed Objects and I'm literally on top of the world. So let me show you where we are. Um, there's uh, Northwind, Caller Pass and High Hrothgar and we are here. So you need to discover this place. To be able to discover it you need to have, well like you either cheat your way to it or you have to have clear skies to get up here. Um, and to get that shout, you've got to do the Way of the Voice and go to Ustengraf for the Horn of Jorgen Klinsman and then meet Delphine and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's not a beginner-friendly home from that point of view, but look how cute. Look at the chimney, though. <laughs> Isn't that absolutely darling? <laughs> it's taken me so long to, to actually get to this mod because I hadn't done all that stuff um, on this playthrough. And my old playthrough was balked, obviously. Um, so anyway, let's get in and have a look. It is super blinking cute. And look, there's even a, what do you call it, weather vane outside. Adorable. Okay, so this is a tiny house for the singleton. On this top little deck, we've got a cooking pot, name storage, as you can see, food, silverware, Prettily done, don't you think? Got some <laughs> wind chimes. Hang up your keys. Stow, stow your valuables. Put your boots away. There's a weapon uh, plaque and a shield plaque. Very nice. It, it really does feel super cosy. And then as you come on round, past the lovely tapestry downstairs. This is lovely. Look at this view. All this gorgeous colour. Nice artwork. Another weapon rack right there name storage again your alchemy lab arcane enchanter <laughs> pillows grindstone anvil this is so nicely done smithing supplies couple more display cases so as you can see it's got some real usefulness to it you know you can actually do all of your crafting here which is brilliant Oh, that is neat. Okay, so that's your smelter using the bellows. Love, love that. Oh, very nice, very handy. Everything all incorporated. Got a safe, some beautiful floral arrangements. And then, because there's only one bed, Inigo's got the bench in front of this charming little fireplace. Look at the bed. There's another display case right there. Again, I just put a sword in it. Really pretty. There's even a tiny companion set hanging there from the fireplace. That's so cute. Wow. And then I can't quite get under there. I'm quite a big moggy, but um, yeah, there's a sink down there. Some musical instruments, just lovely deco, really. Another weapon rack. Oh wow, I love the snow globe. Man, I'm a massive fan of snow globes in every game. So nice. Wardrobe to do some storing away. And then we have a shower. Look how cute. Uh, and a toilet. My pipes, I've got a, a mod called Dwemer Pipework installed. And look how amazing they are. God, I love that mod so much. Okay, I think that covers just about all of the main features of the home. So, super useful. I can't think of anywhere that it would clash with. I think from memory, Clear Sky Hideout is up here somewhere, isn't it? But um, I think we're all right. I don't recall it being in this position or anywhere near it. Oh my goodness, look at the dragon. <laughs> all right, well, I'll leave you with that domestic view. Call that the end of this wee video. Say thank you so much, as always, for watching. And I will see you soon for the next one. Take care and stay safe, everybody.